Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Okay, the devil busy. Cause I plugged that phone in, as y'all know, and it shut right off, so. Um, and at this point, I don't, ow. See what I'm saying? At this point, I don't know where I was at in this story. So, um, at the end of this, I'm going to tell you some more weird crap, but it's just always a lot. It's a lot of energy going on right now. A lot of energy going on. I can feel it. Um, so back to this person. I feel bad for whatever she has going on. But again, I got targeted in the process of, I don't even know this girl. I don't know anything about her. And I said one other time, I think in this video, it almost felt like she was trying to help me, but then, then I realized she was trying to target somebody and I don't know the person that she's trying to target because still I'm a little bit confused one of two people but I don't know okay which one it is she's trying to target so um and I, I I don't know I just don't know only because again I saw her post something else for some old energy and so at this point I don't care that's not my point my point of it is is trying to tear somebody down because you're not getting your way is very childish. Very, very childish. Bringing me into a situation because you thought I did something, very childish. Trying to misdirection and lie to an old person that could really potentially try to take my life to get me into some harm, not cool. So at this point, I don't know what's happening to you, but to me, it's almost like you're deserving of whatever is going to happen to you because why would you do that? Why would you do that to a person? And why would you set up and lie and say what you said? Because I, I literally watched your video this morning and I know, and I have not checked no nothing at all, period, for any of these people. But since you were posting videos and uploading old videos, like you've been really, really at it lately. And so it made me now look at the videos and i'm like now i know that's my information why is she saying that and why would she be saying that to some old energy but you telling a lie you literally are out here telling people that they're committing adultery when i've been sitting here with god i haven't done a thing not nothing and the information that you're using you're not really that like slick at it because <laughs> it's stuff that i already posted and that's just like the other day when I said me and my son are, were out and everything was red. And even my 17-year-old son said, Mom, why is that happening? Something don't seem right. My video didn't upload. But right behind that, you posted something about uh, just what you posted, which allowed me to now know that you were trying to say something about me being harmed. I'm confused. Like, how are you, like, you think anything good is going to happen to you for that? Do you think anything good is going to happen to you for, I don't even know, you know, what part you played in the whole collective as to what was going on, the glamour spells and the talking about somebody and the trying to bring in, like, some celebrity people. And, like, to me, at this point, no matter what happened, nobody should believe anything you say. And, and then what type of person does that anyway? If you were with a person, why would you now try to drag that person down because you're upset? Let go and let God. Whatever it's meant to be is going to be. You can say that a person is a bad person or a negative person, but guess what? At the end of the day, if that person is a bad person or a negative person, they're going to have to deal with what they're dealing with. Because right now, everybody's receiving karma. You see that. Especially in the tarot community, everybody sees that everybody's business is all over the place. Like, I laughed on one of the other tarot readers' 
um, page because I said divine is not playing. Right now, they're trying to put people in position and all you're doing is dragging yourself down. That's all you're doing. Because it's not about you. It's about what God wants to do. And regardless of the fact, you don't come off as a good friend or a good person or a good anything when if the person is trying to just leave and now you're trying to blackmail or do whatever, because I don't know what you're trying to do. It just seems like it's very messy. And you're saying a person's messy, but it's coming off that you being messy. And right now I see that you're a liar also. Because I literally watched you lie and say something about my relationship that was old that I didn't even do. So now that also leads me to wonder because God kept saying that there was um, going to be some revelations that was happening. Apparently, because I know he likes tarot, so I know he probably went to tarot. I don't know who told this person that I ever cheated in our relationship. I never did that. I never did that. The closest thing, that, and, and he can tell you this himself. He asked me, I had a dream one time, and this is a dream. And I woke up and I told him, I said, I had a dream because everybody, my your baby mama favorite rapper, Kevin Gates, right? So I told him I had a dream that we were here and it was all of us here. And we were having a party in the backyard. And when I mean party, it was a party, like a huge party. And I have, um, in my room, I wanted, um... A deck build off my bedroom because you know where it's at i wanted to be able to walk from my pool downstairs you know back into my room and he was here but he had his wife here too at the time so him and um his wife was here and some stuff happened some you know he, kevin gates talks about a lot of stuff in his you know rapping so some stuff happened but when I woke up, I told him about the dream. And so he asked me, he said, did you have, he said, did I F him? That's what he said. And I said, no. But the dream happened and it happened. So I did lie at the time about, you know, my dream. But why would I say that? Like, it was weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't even know why that happened. It was just a dream. So I went on about my way. So sometimes people need to realize if there's a sensitive person, a sensitive reader, because right now I'm picking up all types of energy from people. I am sitting right here, though. I haven't been anywhere near these, you know, people or anything, the energies. So somebody could have picked up that, but it was a dream. Because I love, if anybody knows this person, that person was everything to me. I would never cheat on them, which also says something else. And this is the thing, because initially when this person first moved here, I was not allowed to go to the store by myself at all. I went to the store one time and they had a heart attack. Like you not allowed outside. Like I was not allowed to go anywhere without this person. And then one day it changed. I asked him, can I go to the store? He said, sure which is the day that I should have realized flag on the play, red flag. Because he never at any point in time let me go anywhere by myself. That's when I should have known that he GPS my truck. And if you go back to the videos, you'll see that my truck was, there's a tracker, there was a tracker found on it. I didn't look for the tracker. I kept telling people that my stuff, my information is being leaked to the internet. This stuff is happening. My car got hit and literally now the person that the people that fixed my truck, they go and find that there was a tracker on my truck. So I wasn't lying. I wasn't coming off. People were saying I was crazy. I clearly wasn't crazy because how, how did the tracker get there? I didn't drive my truck. I literally drove it to the truck um, stop where it was, where it got hit at. And then, like I said, I go to my source and my source said, oh, it was a spell trying to kill you. They wanted you dead. Why y'all working so hard? Because now I'm trying to figure out who was the one me did. Was it him or was it you? Either way, if he went to you to get me dead, y'all people are just doing too much right now in the universe and in the world. God don't like it. 
he does he does not like it and for the next statement that i'm going to say um I don't understand why people go to like i understand why people go to tarot readers to but if why wouldn't you just go to your person and then if you track me then you would know that i wasn't doing anything but i guess there wasn't a recorder in the truck he would just know where i was in case you know he needed i don't know i i don't know i'm not gonna assume or insinuate what a person wanted what a person thought i don't know that's not my issue my issue was was the stuff was happening so we're gonna stay on task so this young lady i saw that she's saying that and then i saw that the collective is having a major uh is happening and i don't know what because i don't i feel it and i hear it but i think what i need to look at is on that phone so i don't know either way um keeping it to age of aquarius and what's happening in the universe and um what's happening with the relationships and people and all types of other stuff so karma karmics people everything being adjusted and people being upset over stuff that i don't even know why they're upset and because again like i said i don't know this young lady at all period i just know that i have been now being aware of this person and um i'm confused as to why and i'm also confused as Okay, let me stop. Just give me one second because I got to figure out what's happening because apparently I need to stop because they're about to make my brain go crazy. okay we're back i had to have a spirit meeting <laughs> really though um so i don't understand how or why because again this is another thing like i said it's targeted who you're being targeted by so going back to to the collective the aquarius transition of people being put back into their places and their perspective places who they belong with and everybody has free will so they can choose um because what happens is <laughs> this is funny what happens is anybody that's been in that person's energy it could be past life loves this life loves you know what i mean whatever comes into that person's awareness and now they're there so these people have options okay some of these people have options it's up to them to choose the correct option because they can choose what they want it's free will but some of these options are not going to lead them down the right path of <laughs> where they need to be it's going to take them down a the path but if they choose wrong, they're going to be on uh, another karmic cycle, okay? So let me tell you about my life, and I'm going to tell you what this is and why I'm so confident and to sit here with God and wait till what's coming for me comes for me. Because ascending 
I told this other person, the last person I was with, and this is the reason why he thought that I would be easily able to commit suicide and, you know, all this other extra, you know, whatever. I'm not coming to this godforsaken planet anymore, okay? When I leave here, I, my ascension, I will be going, look up what ascension means, to be with God, okay? I'm gonna go sit where I need to sit at because I am who I am and I know what, this is not what I came here to be. Even in my past life, I was high honor, okay? So I'm not gonna belittle myself to get in a competition with none of these chickens or any of that. I'm gonna sit right here. And what's meant for me is gonna come to me. And that's it, that's all. I don't care about what they doing. But what I care about is y'all targeting me. Because I see y'all. I'm not impressed. If he impressed, go with God. I'm going to sit right here. Mind my business. Do what I need to do. Still, like I said, I was told not to send energy. Because if I send energy, then I could be in trouble. I literally was told that. Um, but also there's a thing like when two people are what they are meant to be, you are their energy. You are their energy. You feel them. They feel you. If that person is tired because they doing a lot, you're tired. If this person, like, so there's a specific connection that these people should be aware of that is in existence. And I know I'm aware of it because I know what I feel. Um, look up what age of Aquarius means and look into, like I said, people looking into their birth chart, figuring out, because if there has been some weird stuff happening to you, you'll understand and know why it's going down because I'm sure it's happening to some people and they just don't know why. <laughs> Mind your business. Um, along with that, back to now, the collective, you know, going haywire. haywire and crazy i keep trying to throw up the white flag with y'all like here y'all go y'all can have that i'm not gonna be in competition with none of y'all y'all can have it y'all can have whatever it is whatever it is y'all want y'all can have it stop with the the mess though because y'all are going to damage yourselves i keep saying it i keep saying it and somehow i feel like i just got off track because these people are harassing me in the process But listen, so when I sat down here, my whole entire goal was to get y'all to be mindful. Guy, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs>
what you got until it's gone. Because you know. You knew? Shows up as so many. No, I've been. Who you think I'm happy for? I don't know who you, you can. How to get a. So this is investing one step up from being the emperor and the empress. So somebody sees you as a solid offer. Somebody has something to offer. Queen of staff, though, Aries, Leo, Leo, Sagittarius. Again, this could be among the three different women or three different entities that was interfering in the relationship between you and this person, Pisces, or cross-watchers that's involved with this Pisces. Um, but I feel like somebody's coming in, they're getting ready to put in the action they want to put in the work. They have an offer to give you, and they're hoping that you want this offer now. I accept it already. Why are we listening to this? Exactly.